Just a quick disclaimer, if you haven't watched the first three parts of the series, you probably should before watching this, or you're not, well, you might understand what's going on, but you probably won't. So just go watch them if you haven't, and, well, show the video. Good evening, once again, everybody. I'm Agent Mustache, and uh, someone commented on one of my videos asking if I do tutorial on making scripted sequences. And I decided, sure, why not? So, today we're just going to make a pretty basic script sequence. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically where you script something to happen. Like you want an NPC to go do something, then you can make him do it using a scripted sequence. So, we're just going to make a really basic one here today just to show off how to do it. If you want me to make a more advanced one in another tutorial, just tell me in the comments and I'll do it. But first, we're just going to do a really basic one. So, first we need an NPC, of course. So, we're going to have NPC right here. I'm going to get citizen, just for an example. Ignore the little animation he's doing. Okay. So, first thing we need to do is name him. So, we can call him in the scripted sequence later on. So, we're just going to name him... Um, let's name him Tony. See all these settings? You can ignore most of them. If you want to go deeper into any of them, you can just play around with them. But right now, we're just going to change a few of them. So, first we need to do... Um, I think everything's here. Everything here is fine, unless you want to change, like, which citizen you're using. So you can choose which model. Then you can choose expression and the weapon he's using. But right now, we're just going to keep it as this. Then we need to go to flags, and... We don't want him to interact with the player at all for this one so let's make him non-commandable ignore players don't drop weapon and well that's it so apply and close that out we're gonna let's see next we need the scripted sequence itself so let's put that there and to make this we just need to type in scripted sequence and there we go we're gonna name this stand and what we're gonna have Tony here do we're gonna have him stand up at the start of the sequence and then we're gonna walk him somewhere and do a little animation so yeah we got to get the target NPC so this is where we call into Tony and then here we have all the animations he's gonna do so pre-action idle animation this is what he does before the whole sequence starts entry animation this is what he does before the action you don't need this but if you want to do something before the main animation, go ahead, put something right there. And then post action, this is after the main. And this is what he does at the end. Then you can loop action animation. So it just keeps doing the action animation if you want, but we don't want to do that for this one. So we're just going to have those set to default except for these two. Then we go to flags. Let's have no interruptions, override AI and allow after death. This one doesn't matter right now, so let's just leave that off. So, there we go. So right now, if you start it up, nothing's gonna happen. Well, okay, let's see. Yeah, nothing is gonna happen because you need something to start the animation. Even if you did have something to call in the animation to start, it won't do anything because we don't have an animation selected. So to get one, we go to NPC Citizen, or just Tony over here. We go to Model, and we need to find an animation. So we're just going to have him stand up, okay? So let's do Sit, and we need to find Sit Ground. So he's just going to be sitting there. We need to copy the name because if we have it on him, it's not going to do anything. We need to go to the scripted sequence and then class info and for the pre-action we do set ground so yeah next we need since we're not doing an entry we could just skip that the action so we're gonna go back to the citizen and the model and then let's go sit ground idle so he stands up select that or copy it go back to the scripted sequence and paste it right there and apply and last we need the post action so we can just put idle here because it goes sacred on idle 
and then it'll just stay at idle. So now if we had someone calling on the animation to start, he would stand up. But that's just kind of boring if he just stands up. So we're going to put another script sequence over here, which is going to be part two to this. And let's just name this mm, cheer. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Don't do that. Uh, scripted sequence. We gotta get a scripted sequence going first. Then we name it cheer, because that's the animation he's gonna do. He's gonna move from this scripted sequence to the second one, and then he's gonna do a cheer. So, target NPC, we gotta do Tony again, of course. My boy, Tony. Yeah, Tony. And then, of course, we need pre action idle animation. That's just gonna be idle, not idle, idle. So, none for entry, but action. All right. So, we're just going to go back to Tony here, open him up again, go to model, and cheer. So, we have two cheers. We have cheer one and then cheer two. We're going to do cheer one because cheer two looks kind of poopy. It looks boring. But cheer one, cheer one's where it's at. So, we're going to go back to scripted sequence and just put a little cheer one right there and then post action I'm just gonna do idle again so yeah let's see yeah everything's good now we just gotta go to flags start on no not start on spawn override AI allow actor death this is gonna come in later but it's not for the main tutorial, it's just for a little extra thing I want to add later on. I'll tell you. I'll explain it later. But yeah, no interruptions, we need that. And then actually for this, we'll have the start on spawn. And I'll put a trigger to start it later on, but right now, we'll just leave it as that. We'll go back to the scripted sequence, and that is all we need. Yeah, so, last thing we need to do, go back to the original scripted sequence, and next script. Let's name it cheer, or select cheer, so that he goes from the start, the stand sequence, to the cheer. Because my dumb self didn't create a trigger, so he just sat there the whole time. So, we're going to create a trigger right here. Actually, so, for the trigger, you could do a button, or something like that. But what I'm going to do... I'm just gonna have a little pole that when you walk into it starts. Let's not use that, let's do that. So I'm gonna create the pole, and then I'm gonna deselect that, and then I'm gonna create a pole around it, but I'm gonna make this, instead of it being uh, a dev texture, I'm gonna make it a trigger. So I'm gonna select the trigger, create it, and press Control T to open up the properties. And what we do now is just trigger go down and get a trigger once so that the trigger only happened once you can only be caught on once gonna name it trigger we don't really have to call onto it though so it doesn't need a name flags let's do clients and that's good so go back to trigger go to the outputs and add one and what we're gonna do is on start touch Let's do stand and begin sequence. Far only once. Apply. And now what that'll do is it'll use this trigger when you walk into the pole, or into the trigger really, which is around the pole. The pole is just telling you where it is. When you walk into it, the sequence will begin. He'll stand up, and then he'll walk to the second part. So let's open this up. See if I didn't mess up again. And here we are. We have the pole there, and we have Tony over here, just sitting there, just doing, doing nothing really. So, let's just start off the little animation. He's going to stand up when we walk into it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty rad. He walks over here, and then he does a little cheer. Yeah. Ooh, and then... Okay, let's fix that. To fix this, you could do one of two things. One of a few things, really. But, uh, for the sake of simplicity... Uh, one of two things. One, you can have it keep going until, you know, uh, something else happens and then he just stops. Or you can make it keep going. So instead of uh, having post-action idle animation, well, 
let's not do that and instead loop action animation let's set that to a big yes and now what tony my man tony's gonna do he's gonna walk into that and he's just gonna keep cheering he's gonna keep cheering all day long so good on you tony but really who wants that that's that's a boring end if you want that as an end go ahead tutorial is over you've learned how to make a scripted sequence but if you want to keep going let's add something to this just to give a little flair to it create envy explosion while we need an explosion you'll understand in a second but let's just name it boom one so yeah you can keep all this the same unless you want to make the magnitude bigger and blow up everything but no let's just keep it at so flags let's just keep everything everything's all good so yeah we have the explosion here now what we want to do we're going to put it right there where tony's going to be and see tony uh yeah he's gonna he's gonna blow up so he's gonna walk there and see that's just not gonna go off on its own and making this trigger blow it up isn't gonna help because it's gonna blow up at the wrong time so we're gonna create another trigger let's create it right here now let's move it over a bit to where after he gets to the scripted sequence and starts it'll begin the trigger and we're gonna have a timer for it so it doesn't go off immediately so let's just make the trigger here let's maybe make it a little bigger so we can select it easier yeah so there's the trigger and we're gonna have it set to let's go to flags no wait a second we need to have it set as a trigger so we're gonna go trigger once and we don't need a name for this so we're just gonna go to flags no clients we don't want the player setting this off we're gonna do NPCs so now Tony Tony over here can trigger the explosion and yeah we still don't need the name start disabled nah so let's just make an output wait let's check the flags first yeah I already did that mm, just gonna cut that so we're gonna go to outputs we got the new output and we're gonna do on start touch and boom and via this input explode fire only once now if we leave it as this we can just save it but don't close it yet because like if we just leave it like this then right as he gets there he's just gonna die he's gonna boom we don't want that because then he won't do the little cheer animation so instead we're gonna do after delay of like i don't know maybe like 1.5 seconds so now when he gets there he's gonna have 1.5 seconds or one and a half seconds to do his little cheer and then that bomb right there it's gonna go boom so let's just compile this and run it let's see how this goes all right so here we are we are back in the map i really don't care about any of this so tony here he's about to have some fun so let's just go ahead and start it off he's gonna he's gonna go stand up it's like just a normal day he goes over there and he starts dancing and now he's dead well you know what they say uh I don't know. Thanks for watching. Uh, I really hope this helped you learn something. Because I know I learned a lot from this. Okay. So. Really though. Thank you everyone for watching. Glad I can make a tutorial to help. If this really helped anyone. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm glad. And thanks for 180 subscribers. That's, I know that's not many. But like jeez. I didn't think I'd get there. But yeah, thanks, and I'll see you next time.